Okay. Hello, everyone. I am super excited to introduce our November Student of the Month, Miss Anna. Thank you. Hello, hello. So I'm going to give it right over to you if you could give us your name, because you say it so beautifully, your business, and where it's so just start talking about it, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, my name is Anna, Anna Breslov. I am a um, um, registered licensed massage therapist, and it's um, going to be two years, um, beginning of uh, January. And uh, I've been, um, um, I, I also just graduated, not graduated, but um, not graduated, I'm sorry, uh, got uh, my licensed massage um, therapist instructor license. And it's um, just a month ago. Um, I'm also um, licensed uh, um, and got my degree in India, Delhi. As a as a Ayurvedic therapist, I graduated in Delhi in 2018, and uh, become um, uh, Ayurvedic uh, Ayurvedic therapist. That is a huge resume of achievements. Thank you, thank you. And where is your practice located? I'm located in Plano. Uh, my main office is in Plano, on uh, Plano Parkway between Custer and Alma. It's um, um, the name of the office is Institute of Spiritual Science. I <clears throat> I am a um, single owner, I guess, uh, for nonprofit organization named as Institute of Spiritual Science, and then um, I. Inside of that nonprofit organization, um, my other business is Pranika Ayurveda, which I do um, all massage therapies and uh, Ayurvedic therapies under Pranika Ayurveda. I opened the second location in Prisca. It's next to IKEA um, in, a, in a beauty salon. And I have also ranking there is a one room uh, from my friend who owns that salon. I'm renting um, as a massage uh, therapist room. It's um, so I I work on, at the boss location. I also, this is news to me. Congratulations! Thank you very much. I also work for a private uh, uh, private. Um, it's it's kind of um. Uh, private, how to say, um, sports, um, not, not a sport. I'm so sorry. I'm kind of, um, it's okay. Like I put you on the spot. I just said, go. <laughs> yes. As a fitness, in the fit, private fitness center. Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. And it's located in Dallas on, on the web chapel in 635. Um, I do, um, their massage therapies for a private, um, fitness center um it's called five diamond fitness center i work with them uh and uh that's it <laughs> are you sure because like they're like you must not sleep there, that's a lot going on um i also work uh, i'm working um, i'm going to clients homes um because um, i also work for um women who just postpartum and gave birth um and especially um, in Indian community, uh, it's their tradition after um, we have a baby. Um, in India, it's tradition for 40 days. Um, they're supposed to do abhyanga massages and uh, for the mother and the baby. So um, sometimes I go to homes, do massages, postpartum from abhyanga massages for moms. Um, and the babies so it depends nice. mostly um mostly for moms so sure. sometimes i show moms um for mom how to do massage and she she do she does her own on her own 
So it's just as simple like that. That's wonderful. Yeah, I know kind of like the Western stuff when it comes to postpartum and infant massage. So I'm gonna have to pick your brain one day. There's probably some similarities, but probably some differences too. There, there is, yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. We'll have to, we'll have to do that another time. Got, I got a little nerdy. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, so you yourself have two businesses. One is a nonprofit and one is a pay for service. So what made you want to do a nonprofit? Um the first main idea for nonprofit is to organize retreats in India. And uh, everything was set up before COVID. And I was um my idea was to take a group of a people of 10, 10 to 15 people from US and take them to India. And uh, like, for example, our um, re um, retreat center was set up in Himachal Pradesh in India, which is Himalayas. Um, in It's one hour from Delhi flight uh, and ended, ended up like in Himachal Pradesh. And uh, there are few over 2,000 years old temples. And uh, the idea was to take a group of um, uh, students who wants to learn of pranic healing, Ayurveda healing, which is include Reiki and um, uh, pranic healing. Um, and uh, mm, there, uh, and, and uh, learn therefore like um, from 10 days and to up to two weeks for retreats. And uh, everything was set up and we were ready to um, get our first group. And then COVID was uh, in, that was in March. So everything was canceled. So right now we're waiting for restriction to be lift, um, to travel to India. Some of that because of the um, situation and the border with India, yes. So yeah. I hope we are like soon recovering from it and start doing it again so but basically but my now idea as a become massage therapist to take a group of um, massage therapists and uh, and do um, an amazing retreat in India uh, um, the retreat was including full meals um, uh, it's a four four meals a day including a um, Hotels, accommodations, stay um, with private cook, uh, so um, and the lesson thing. But uh, I'm now since I'm becoming massage therapist instructor, I'm probably um, want to um, once I get the second license for not continue education instructor. So design a, um, a class classes for massage therapists in India to 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 have a retreat so and oh that, that's so cool and that would be including temple sightseeing um yoga um meditation and uh, um meals everything included so <laughs> I oh i love the way your brain thinks this is so cool mm. That's uh, one of my dreams to achieve. Okay. Um, I know you can do it. You you definitely put yourself out there. And from what I've experienced, you make things happen. So good job. Thank you. <laughs> so my next question is going to be a little different for you because you were kind of already in the industry, you know, dude bunny ears industry. What brought you to uh, Ayurveda? Because uh, that was before massage therapy, but what brought you there? Well, um, it's kind of a long story. Um, I've been following, I've been living with Ayurveda for a while. Not just me, my husband and I, our whole family, for quite some long time, um, about 20 years or more now. I even know. So what brought that um, us there is... Um, my husband's mom got cancer, um, was really sick, and uh, we searched alternative um, medicine for healing for her. 
um, everything was fine until one day she just gave up and uh, and then she didn't wanna. She said to my husband, to to all of us, that she's really tired and uh, she doesn't wanna fight anymore. And certainly, um, her metastasis went so bad she she basically passed away in really bad pain. So my husband told me that she that the way we all see how she suffered. He said, I don't want my, my kids to see, see me mm. suffer like that. So we start actually, um, not short, but at that time, there is um, in the United States not much information about Ayurveda. So we start searching um, where we're from. My husband from Ukraine and from Uzbekistan, and we found... Uh, Ayurvedic doctors and professors in Russia. We start listening, lecturing, um, and start um, like living in holistic way. So we learn and apply to our lives. Um, then we become. Um, we met with Victoria Butenko. She is one of the revolutionary first um, in raw food diet. We met her here in Dallas. And uh, when I had my um, third baby, um, I be, we become whole family, become except kids. Um, just me and my husband and my mom become fully raw, raw food. Um, so we didn't cook anything. We eat everything was raw. We used dehydrator to make some bread. We make cheese. Um, I learned how to make cheese from milk. Um, make um, uh, bread and dehydrated. Basically, we start living in on, on raw food. And uh, in about a month, our kids come to us and said, "Mom and Dad, um, we wanna we wanna eat as you are too." So they were little at that time, um, and uh, so whole family become raw food. And then uh, I wasn't. Um, I was working and helping my ha my husband to grow a business. Uh, his own business and that gave me a freedom to yeah. go um, overseas in different countries and learn different things we went um, my husband and I we went to Nepal we did a um, spiritual journey in Nepal the whole Nepal um, traveled and it was amazing um, um, trip for us it's changed our lives but then um I um, start tra traveling by myself. I went to Ukraine and learned bioenergy. And uh, I went there three times. And I had amazing teachers in Ukraine. Um, and uh, I learned bioenergy in Ukraine. I went to a um, uh, couple times to Peru. I studied in Peru. Um, just been in like different places and learning different things um, and them applying uh, to them in your, in my life. That's what make me change. And uh, by living um, in a simple Ayurvedic style, um, change completely our lives. And, uh, and then I decided, well, I, that's my dream to help people. I uh, my dream was always to not just to help to help to do healing like mm, mm, just simple things. They are very simple things that can be changing change of diet, change of lifestyle habits. Uh, it's already a big step, and uh, I decided to go to India. And uh, I went to India. My first teacher here in Dallas for um, also pranic healing. He's a Sufi grandmaster. And then I met a um, long time ago, um, my guru in India, I went there and I learned um, um, Prana Mantra Tantra healing. I got a um, diploma uh, in that. And it's also concerning uh, pranic healing. It's uh, similar to that. And with yantras to heal these symbols of uh, 
yam dressed it. it. It could be applied. It's a very ancient Indian healing. And, uh, and then I got my degree in um, diploma in Ayurveda and Panchakarma. So, and with that diploma, when I come back to US, I said, I'm ready to start. And I opened the business. Um, and my first office was on Spring Creek in Plano, uh, Spring Creek in Custer. And I um, opened Ayurvedic office. And um, after that, um, I get notified that I can, I guess, to in order to be fully licensed um, Ayurvedic therapist, I have to have a massage license. So I went to uh, Sterling, um, Sterling Massage School in Dallas, North Dallas, and I um, graduated from from that and got my license in massage as a massage therapist. Yes, very beautiful. I liked the whole journey you told us. You have been so many places. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that is so fascinating. Again, I could talk to you for hours, Anna. So this this is I'm learning so many beautiful things about you. So if you had to describe your ideal clients, who or what would they be or what kind of ailment would they have? Ideal. It's a hard one to answer. Yes, it is. Um, since I'm working mostly, um, I combine massage therapies and Ayurveda therapies together. So I have a very um, large, um, broad, I guess, of clients. Um, it could be woman plus classroom um, to uh, um, elderly um, to a baby. So there is different. But I think the main um, ideal client is the client who, um, when they come to me, um, not just for Ayurveda, but also for massages. Um, if they're ready to change, to make changes in their life. And if they're, I think that's ideal cloud. That's where this everything starts with. Um, it's, there's no um, magic uh, that someone can, like, not heal you, but it's, you have to be ready to make changes in your life. And uh, I think that's uh, my ideal client. And then um, once the client is ready to make changes in the life, um, that's what uh, magic happen. And that's what makes me happy. Um, that's what, um, that's what I, I guess work for. So because when client is ready to make changes in their life, change habits, change, diet um, um them it's um, they get healed basically and uh, um and once they feel happier makes me feel happy that's uh i don't know this is just me <laughs> yeah no that's perfect that is because you you make really good points you know we could we could do everything we can when they're in our presence but if they don't carry it on after the session, then that's kind of where it ends. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Another kind of maybe tough question. If you had any advice to give somebody currently in massage school, what advice could or would you give them? Um, never give up. And never put your uh, um, yourself uh, like even a seed of doubt. Um, I would recommend uh, to believe in yourself, to believe that you can do it, and not to not to be afraid of uh, and black tests or pass you or not. Not afraid of uh, passing. Uh, um, practices uh, or uh, in uh, just believe in yourself and uh, once you believe it in 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 our language we say once you believe it the the ocean will be up to your knee 
So oh, I love that. Say it. Say it in the the native language, please. Native language would sound like um, "нельзя ничего бояться, тогда будет море по колено." That's more beautiful. <laughs> I love that saying. Yes, I. It's a very old uh, saying, so don't do not afraid or don't have don't doubt anything. And once you do that, the ocean will be up to your knees. Love that. Well, Miss Anna, what else would you like to tell the people that are going to watch this? Any anything that we've left out? Um, not that I know. I don't know. <laughs> not at this moment. <laughs> not at this moment, yes. But uh, I would like to thank you. Uh, I would like to uh, thank everyone who's going to watch this video. Um, and uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, um, that's, um, thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. You're you are a joy to be around and you're a joy to have in our classroom whenever that happens. We we really enjoy it. So you're you're a special light. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. So we will share all your information um, about how to contact you and how to look you up online. And uh, I really thank you for your time today. Thank you.